Texas. Why are you so hot? It's pretty, pretty rough. <laughs> beautiful day here in Texas it is so sunny today and our solar panels are absolutely loving it <laughs> we have so much power right now more than we need <laughs> way, way more than we need yeah and by the way we didn't mention this in the last video because we just set it up uh, actually a friend of mine told me about uh, Alti had affiliate links we so we set up that and if you're interested in any of the stuff that we we uh, are using we have the links down below and it helps out our channel if you happen to buy something yeah and it makes it easier for you if you're interested in anything literally it's right there yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah it being springtime now the animals are going crazy like I don't even know what's happening you guys saw the one snake that was in our barn well we haven't seen that one in a little while that was just the start of it. Yes, literally within 24 hours, we had seen that one. We saw another one slither under our shipping container. And we saw a water moccasin next to the pond. So I'm officially terrified. But yeah, I know, every, every stick you see, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> literally, I have, I have a phobia now. All the life and all the animals is giving a whole new meaning to springtime for us. Yeah, I mean, back in Florida, we lived in the suburbs, so you might, the most wildlife you'd see are birds, some rabbits, gopher turtles, Yeah, about we, it. We had a turtle in my backyard, we named him Sylvester. That was pretty much the extent of our wildlife. I'll flash that in right here. <laughs> Sylvester. Oh, oh, I miss him. But... Yeah, besides all of those fun things that have been happening, today we are going to continue working on getting our foundation ready for our shipping container home. So today we are going to be actually working on the footings. All right, so once we get the, uh, the footings, uh, all the holes are dug. So we're just going to re uh, run our lines, make sure all the measurements, the holes are in the right spots. Hopefully we don't have to dig any more holes. I am so over digging. But what, as long as they're in the right spots, then we'll uh, work on leveling the bottoms of them and then setting up our rebar and uh, start pouring concrete. Okay, so as you can see, we have put our strings back up and we are going to just be remeasuring everything, triple checking before we actually pour any concrete. <laughs> so. We're gonna measure our right angles again, measure all the distances, remeasure the holes. All the corners are perfect. Everything, nothing moved. So that's great news. I'm Thank scared goodness. I was scared we're gonna have to like readjust our lines and make sure. So, but everything's perfect. So. Like you have no idea how difficult it is to get those right angles. <laughs> so that's why we're so darn happy. Alright. I don't know why you think this is so funny. I don't know how to do this. Ah! Try to hit it flat. What is this little? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guess. <laughs> Do you try to be bad on purpose? <laughs> what? I think I'm good. I think I'm done. <laughs> Solid. There was just a frog in the hole that I was tamping. 
Oh my god, is he okay? Oh my god. There's like way too much murdering going on in these holes. Holy crap. He's a big boy. Spencer, do not come near me. What will I do next? Will I chase her down with the frog? Fling the frog at her? Take the frog to a nearby water source? Or, I don't know, massage the frog? Oh great, just a water mock sinking in him. Why am I literally terrified of everything? A daddy long legs landed on me earlier and I almost had a heart attack. Just put him next to it. Woo! High five, we saved a frog. Yeah, I did it all by myself pretty much. So now that all the holes are level, we are going to be uh, cutting some rebar to 18 inches. These holes are 24 inches or two feet. Um, and then we'll once the rebar is cut, we're going to place them in these chairs. These will essentially float them off the ground, so they're not physically touching the ground, and uh, they'll float inside the concrete. All right, so this is going to be inside the footings. This is what's going to give the footing its structural integrity. And there's going to be 16 of these floated two inches off the ground inside the footings, something like that, roughly. And so once uh, once we pour the concrete, I'm all, I also I'll have uh, some rebar that'll go up into the the posts. So the foundation will be super strong, yeah. like me. Oh, baby. Yeah, I don't know why, but literally every single baby this year so far, every single calf that's been born has been a male. There has not been one girl. <laughs> His face is completely covered in milk. Man, you're really getting in there, buddy. What's happening? Uh, apparently the bull got out. And Spencer's grandpa is He's out of town. Spending. He's usually the one that handles this. So now Spencer has to go try to get the bull off the road and back onto the farm. <laughs> this will be interesting. Yep. I don't know if you can really see him. Spencer's behind him in the car right up there. The bull is up in this front pasture. That does not belong to us. He just decided that he was gonna go out and look for some fresh tree branches this morning. Spencer's trying to follow him right now to see where he goes to get out. Because the fence line's all good, so I don't know how this bull's getting out. I mean, he's got to be an Olympic athlete or something and jump in the fence. Yeah, our only guess is that this fence line right up here is slightly tilted forward. So we literally think this bull is just walking <laughs> straight over this fence. Doesn't care about the barbed wire. So Spencer's just straightening out. But obviously we're gonna figure something out. I mean, if you were a bull, wouldn't you wanna go hang out in this pasture? Who needs coffee in the morning when you can just go chase a bull around? All right. Oh my gosh. Well, he's back in. He's very stubborn. Yep. Now I seem to try to work on making it so he can't get out again. Yeah. Is there a reason why you're not recording yourself? 
The world doesn't need to see this. You need, how many is it? How many more do you have to do? I think like, uh, I did two last night. So you need so to do six, and there's need, nine per, right? Or no, it's only six per. per. You only need six pieces per thing, right? Yeah. So you only need 36. And I have one, two, three, four, four in there, so. I got 31. I'll probably have to cut a couple more. Oh, just short. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So now Spencer is going to be cutting five additional pieces of rebar because we were short that many. So we can finish all of our rebar forms for inside of the footings. And then he's also going to be cutting some two foot long pieces of rebar. And what these are going to be is the start of the vertical form that will be going up through the post. So this is just for the bottom half because we don't know exactly how tall each vertical form needs to be yet. Because once we put the post forms in the ground and we make sure they're all level, then we'll know. But we're just starting with two feet. And then once we find out the height that each one needs to be, we'll make the additional vertical rebar support then. But yeah, so those rebar forms will be going in here and then the vertical forms that we're making obviously are gonna be coming up. And this one is actually, this is the highest point on this area that we're building on because it's a gradual decline. So this post will actually end up being two feet above the ground. So as you go down the decline, those posts will get a little bit taller. But, yeah, so it's gonna look super cool. Okay, so we are finally done with the 16 rebar frames for the footings. So this is how it's going to look down in the bottom of every single hole. We have these that the rebar is all resting on. But yeah, that was very time consuming because literally you have to hold all the rebar together and then you have to use these ties or like little bread ties, but metal. <laughs> we did those. So the next step is going to be to put those in the ground. That's all leveled already. And the next step will be to make the post frame out of rebar that will connect this rebar that's in the footing to the post. Things are starting to take a little bit longer than we anticipate just because, I mean, we're not professionals by any means and like some of the stuff like I grasped the concept to them but going once you actually get started it's like oh well you got to make sure you do all these little things too so it's like you're constantly researching and learning things and that's that's why things have kind of slowed down especially for this foundation I mean the foundation's the most important part so that's why we're kind of taking our time with making sure everything's right and uh, done the best way possible yeah like going into doing these rebar forms this is how we <laughs> thought that they were supposed to go and we're like okay this is way too difficult and then after some time in research is when Spencer figures out you know a much better way so pretty much literally everything that we do that's kind of what happens we kind of do it wrong and then we forget how to do it right <laughs> so we're getting there yeah are you guarding us are you are you looking for coyotes he's on duty